Okay, good afternoon guys. I'm John Crawford and welcome back to the John Crawford School of Music where I've got Lance visiting today and we're doing a little simple version of Sweet Home Alabama. Lance has already learned how to make his D, his C, and his G chord. So that's, you know, when you're playing Sweet Home Alabama, a good place to start is just D, C, and G in that order. D, C, and G. Now, what I like to do though is I like to make some different derivatives of those basic starter chords. Obviously, we're going to start with a regular D. Now we're going to make this different version of C add 9. And by the way, the reason we do that is because we take out we take out this E note here in, that would be in the C major chord. And when we do that, we are left with C, G, and then we have a D and a G. And the chord has a brighter quality and first of all, that really modernizes the sound of what we're doing. We're using basically our middle finger on the C note, third fret of A. We're muting with that same finger, we're muting the D string all together on purpose. Then we have our G and then we have our D note and our G note here. Ring and pinky up here get in there and, and let them see that. That's another derivative of C add 9. And by the way, that is really especially effective if you're playing through an amp with distortion. That sounds really good when you're doing that. Then, when we make our G, which is sometimes referred to as a G5, you're just taking your middle finger and moving it up one string to the third fret of big E up here. And again, the same purpose is to brighten the chord a little bit modernize the sound and it, like I said, it's really effective when you're playing through an amp. So, D, C add 9, G. Okay, that's the next step into modernizing your sound. Now, what we're going to do then is we're going to break this in instead of going D, formation of these basic foundational chords. Then we go from there to what we call arpeggiating or breaking up each of these chords like this. You're going to strike your bass note on your D string while your fingers are in a D chord shape. Then striking the B string which is a D note and then striking your G string which becomes an A note like this. Now you're going to go to your C add 9 your new C add 9 chord that we just went over. And then you're going to go up here to your G, strike your, when your C, with, I'm sorry, with your C add 9, you're going to strike this note here. Now with your G, you're going to strike this note here. Your bass note on the third fret of E. Then you're still going to strike your B string. You notice that your pinky and ring fingers stay anchored in the same spot. And I just like to strum that last G chord because sometimes I like to make a little strumming pattern. some of the fancier stuff. for 
you to play along with me now. in the comments section below. Please remember to click like and subscribe. Smash that notification bell. I'm John Crawford with the John Crawford School of Music. Peace out.